Irish Fest returns to the lakefront this weekend, opening Thursday night at Meyer Festival Park. Patrick Boyle is executive director of Milwaukee Irish Fest, here to talk about some of the new things this year, as well as our old favorites. Great to see you again, Patrick. Great to see you. Looks like the weather's going to be great. Now, of course, uh, I am biased since two of my girls Irish dance with mm -hmm. Glen Castle, so that would have to be my favorite act. But some of the other entertainment is outstanding this year. In mm -hmm. addition to all of that, you have the Red Hot Chili Pipers coming back in oh, yeah. for three nights. Yeah, the Chili Pipers are huge. They're actually going to be showing a vi uh, uh, filming a video Friday and Saturday night. So if you want to be in TV in one of their videos, show up Friday or Saturday night to one of their shows. These guys are such an amazing show. I mean, it's not only the fact that they're playing contemporary music on pipes, but I mean, look at all the people they stuff onto stage. Oh, yeah. They really go all out for the Milwaukee show and the Milwaukee Irish Fest show. They, they bring in dancers, other musicians, musicians that are performing that weekend with them will join them on stage. It's just a, a fantastic time. Uh, of course, a lot of the entertainment is local. We mentioned the dance troops and uh, some of the performers as well, mm -hmm. music as well. Mm -hmm. you, you guys really have a, a great support in the community and so much talent here uh, to bring onto the stage. We do. The dance groups, I mean, people from all over the world come and visit Milwaukee in August for Irish Fest. It's really a celebration of all things Irish, uh, from the music to the culture, the history, the dance, the food, the family. Kids 12 and under are free. Um, our whole family area is free. It's a huge draw, and it's just a wonderful. It's really, literally something for everyone. And you uh, mentioned that you wanted to, uh, you're focusing on some Scottish cultural events as well this year. Uh, tell us a little bit about that. Right. Every year we do a, we highlight a unique aspect of Irish or Celtic culture. And this year we've chosen Scotland. We've never done a Scotland showcase. So I've traveled to Scotland. We have eight bands coming from Scotland that are just amazing. It's going to knock your socks off, literally. Uh, you know, I also think Irish food gets short shrift. I mean, yeah. you know, it gets made yeah. fun of a little bit, but yeah. boy, you got the classic favorites there, and, and so many of your vendors put together some really unique dishes. Oh, yeah. Besides the corned beef and the baked potato and the beef stew, we've got uh, a whiskey uh, sauce with a chicken uh, dish. It's you had fantastic. me at whiskey, but, con whiskey, yeah, but continue. We whiskey. Right. <laughs> we actually have uh, a Jameson flavored custard this year. I saw that. Is that with Gillies? It doing is with that Gillies. For you? Yeah, it's going to be fantastic. We also have Cedar Crest for the kids. It's, uh, it's the food. We have 40 different food vendors and you can really fill up and really enjoy yourself. And of course, you have a lot of different ways that people can get a break on admission. I won't ask you to go through all of those, but you do try yeah. to make it affordable to get in the door. Yeah, there's, there is uh, so many opportunities to get in free or for discounted. Just check out our website, uh, www. Uh, irishfest.com and there's uh, deals on Thursday, Friday and Sunday. So check it out. Thanks so much, Patrick. Great Thank to see you. you again and hope it's a great run of the festival Thank again you. for everything you need to know about Milwaukee Irish Fest this weekend. Look for the link. We set it up for you at tmj4.com. 1241, a look outside our tower.